What people are missing in all this is that Trump's 2018 executive order gives the DOJ the power to seize all assets of individuals and companies that were complicit in aiding or covering up this foreign interference in U.S. elections. The National Emergency Order specifically calls for seizure of all assets of entities that have, directly or indirectly engaged in, sponsored, concealed, or otherwise been complicit in foreign interference in a United States election. That would, of course, have to include practically every CNN fake news anchor, every big tech CEO, every fake news journal terrorist from NBC News, The New York Times and The Washington Post. They are all complicit in gaslighting America and covering up the massive foreign election interference that just took place. Trump's executive order further explains that asset seizures shall target people and entities which have materially assisted, sponsored, or provided financial, material, or technological support for, or goods or services to or in support of, any activity described in subsection of this section or any person whose property and interests in property are blocked pursuant to this order, or to be owned or controlled by, or to have acted or purported to act for or on behalf of, directly or indirectly, any person whose property or interests in property are blocked pursuant to this order. In other words, the executive order covers every person who has been corrupted or compromised by communist China. And that includes at least 80% of Democrat lawmakers, by our estimates, including Senators Feinstein and Schiff. Every organization involved in the election theft and cover-up can now be seized by the U.S. government. But that's not even the full extent of what's demanded by this executive order. In Section 8, the order explains that the term person also means a partnership, association, trust, joint venture, corporation, group, subgroup, or other organization. In other words, any media organization that assisted in covering up or assisting foreign interference in a U.S. election is specifically targeted by this executive order. Further in the definitions section, the executive order explains. The term election infrastructure means information and communications technology and systems used by or on behalf of the federal government or a state or local government in managing the election process, including voter registration databases, voting machines, voting tabulation equipment, and equipment for the secure transmission of election results. That would include the Dominion voting systems as well as all other voting systems used in the recent election. Finally, the executive order describes what it means by the term foreign interference. It means any covert, fraudulent, deceptive, or unlawful actions or attempted actions of a foreign government, or of any person acting as an agent of or on behalf of a foreign government, undertaken with the purpose or effect of influencing, undermining confidence in, or altering the result or reported result of, the election, or undermining public confidence in election processes or institutions. Note the important words of altering the result or reported result of the election. This is exactly what big tech and the lying fake news media have done to America. More than merely a crime, it's treason. And it fell right into the national emergency trap that Trump publicly announced in 2018 which now means all these corporations and organizations can have their assets seized literally overnight. Trump attorney Sidney Powell described staggering statistical evidence and staggering witness testimony about the criminal election fraud that was carried out across America. She adds, if you want to talk about foreign election interference, we certainly have it now. Rep. Louis Gohmert Republican, from Texas, says the U.S. military just raided the server farm of site in Spain. Lest you think this is all speculation and rumor, we now get to the part where the rubber meets the road. According to a video interview with Rep. Louis Gohmert, which aired earlier today, the U.S. military has just conducted a raid on the server farm of the now bankrupt site company in Barcelona, Spain. The Gateway Pundit which has been at the forefront of much of the bombshell reporting of the election rigging conspiracy that took place on November 3rd, reached out to its sources to confirm the military operations in Europe, as related to gathering evidence of election theft. Here's what the Gateway Pundit just reported. The U.S. government, once they determined that this Dominion server was involved in switching votes, the intelligence community began a search for the server and discovered that the server was in Germany. In order to get access to that server and have it available for use in a legal manner they had to have the State Department work in tandem with the Department of Justice. 
they had to request that the government of Germany cooperate in allowing this seizure of this server. The appropriate documents required to effect that kind of seizure were put in place, signed off on, and it appears there was also U.S. military support in this operation. The U.S. military was not in the lead. But this helps explain why Esper was fired and Miller and Cash Patel were put in place, so that the military would not interfere with the operation in any way. By getting a hold of the server they now are going to have the direct evidence of when they were instructed to stop counting. They will also discover who gave the direction to stop counting and who initiated the algorithm that started switching votes. The CIA was completely excluded from this operation. The raid appears to have targeted the CIA's Frankfurt server farm operation. We also now have confirmation from WikiLeaks documents that the CIA used a data center in Frankfurt as a remote hacking base to rig U.S. elections. DW.com reported. WikiLeaks released a trove of CIA documents on Tuesday that it claimed revealed details of its secret hacking arsenal. The release included 8,761 documents that it claimed revealed details of malware, viruses, trojans, weaponized zero-day exploits, malware remote control systems and associated documentation. The leaks purportedly revealed that a top-secret CIA unit used the German city of Frankfurt am Main as the starting point for numerous hacking attacks on Europe, China and the Middle East. German daily Süddeutsche Zeitung reported the building was known to be home to a vast network of intelligence personnel including CIA agents, NSA spies, military secret service personnel, Department of Homeland Security employees and Secret Service employees. It reported the Americans had also established a dense network of outposts and shell companies in Frankfurt. It appears the CIA was using the same foreign data center to hack the U.S. elections, and got caught. This is precisely why, as the Gateway Pundit reports, the CIA was kept completely out of the server raid operation that just took place in Germany. The raid was likely leveled against the CIA's own server farm that ran the remote Dominion hacking operation the night of the election. Going down, big tech, media giants, Democrat operatives and half the deep state. It should be obvious to any informed person that everything big tech and the fake news media did to rig this election, then bury the Democrats' massive voter fraud operations, was a covert, fraudulent deception and unlawful action. And it was all carried out on behalf of communist nations like China and globalist corporations that are located outside the United States. It's not merely that the voting system companies whose hardware and software systems rigged the election were located in Canada and Spain. We're also told that part of the CIA's rigging of the election in real time involved data being offshored to servers located in Germany and possibly Serbia. So there are at least three or four foreign countries involved in this election and that doesn't even include China and Venezuela, who both had other roles in running influence operations to rig the election outcome in favor of Biden. Funding for Dominion was also provided, it is rumored, from wealthy socialists in Venezuela. Now, Team Trump is in the process of gathering irrefutable evidence of criminal collusion to carry out election interference, and the cover-up trails will lead directly to big tech, targeted censorship and collusion with China, and the fake news left-wing media, gaslighting propaganda campaign to cover up evidence of foreign collusion. This means that in one fell swoop, President Donald J. Trump will be able to arrest and seize the assets of all the top Democrats and deep state traders who attempted to steal the 2020 election, seize all the big tech corporations and left-wing media propaganda outlets that were complicit in the conspiracy. This could include seizing their domain names such as Twitter.com, YouTube.com, Facebook.com, etc. Defeat the DNC forever by revealing overwhelming evidence of widespread election fraud, which will also result in a nationwide call for a voter ID system for all future elections. Solidify his own standing as the brilliant mastermind president of the USA for a second term, and perhaps a third, we dare say. Never bet against the Donald. Recounts no longer matter the certification of votes is now irrelevant. The action plan to achieve all this is underway now. Team Trump already has the full transaction logs of Dominion Voting Systems election alterations, and with raids taking place in Europe, more evidence of foreign interference is being secured. Importantly, 
This enormous cache of voter fraud evidence will be more than sufficient for President Trump to present this evidence to the American people, then declare an illegal insurrection attempt against the United States of America while deploying U.S. Marshals or military police to arrest the treasonous actors in the United States who attempted to carry out this elaborate criminal fraud. No wonder John Brennan appears to be crapping himself every time he appears on live television. Once Trump's plan is fully activated, people like Brennan will need a lifetime supply of depends. Once all the evidence is compiled and presented, President Trump merely needs to declare the entire election to be null and void as an artifact of a failed foreign coup attempt against the United States, aided by treasonous operators inside the Democrat Party and certain dark corners of the intelligence community, CIA, FBI, etc. As an immutable legal principle, any party that engages in a social contract, such as an election, and then cheats to try to unfairly win that contract, is disqualified by default. You cannot win an election by stealing it. There is overwhelming legal precedent for this in court decisions from both SCOTUS and federal district courts. The recounts are irrelevant. The certification of the fraudulent votes is just theater. None of that matters once the overwhelming fraudulent nature of the entire operation is documented and revealed to all. We've already won. Trump has already won this election. The treasonous enemies of America have already been caught. They will face criminal charges by the thousands as all this plays out, unless they flee the country first. And the DOJ is about to drop the hammer on the entire operation. The American people are with Trump, including many Democrats who are now sickened by what they witnessed take place with wholesale left-wing election theft. Americans will not allow their country to be stolen by foreign interests, and as we've mentioned before, if Trump needs to call up every able-bodied man in America to converge on Washington, D.C. fully armed with courage, millions of patriots will arrive to defend this constitutional republic against its enemies, both foreign and domestic. Trump no longer needs to win recounts, and he certainly doesn't need the media on his side. They won't be around much longer anyway. All Trump needs is to continue gathering evidence, prepare to present it to the world, and continue to garner support from millions of Americans who are ready to lay their lives on the line, if necessary, to defend this nation. We win if we choose to win. The only way we lose is if we surrender to the criminals on the left.